Can't tell if he's got his legs locked or not, but we're gonna get a stalling call on Wyatt Fowl with five seconds left. Wyatt Fowl's just gotta bust him down here and he'll move into the consolation championship round. And he holds on as a little Granby roll by Onofre at the end, but Fowl follows him around. So we got Prell from Sterling up on mat nine. And then over here on mat number one, we have another local area wrestler um, competing, and that's a man from Sedgwick County Fleming against Capel from Lyman at 138 pounds. That's zero to zero over here on mat one. Second period. Looks like man's on top to start the second period. So, so Kappel, he drops down on that knee, tries to pick and step the knee, but it wasn't there. Gonna have Dylan Pirelli from Sterling up on mat number 10. He's taking on Alex Cordova of Rifle. Cordova defeated by Josh Flanagan in the semifinals. Josh Flanagan from Valley by a score of five to three, so Pirelli will have his hands full here. Capo from Lyman still riding Coburn Mann. It's a minute and 25 seconds left in the second period. 0-0 zero, zero still because nobody got a takedown in the first period. Cordova from Rifle gets a quick takedown on Pirelli of Sterling. Can't tell what he's trying, just a little tilt and he has Pirelli over on his side. There's a one count. Probably trying to stay off of his back. And he's gonna do so for now, but Cordova's gonna stack him over. Puts Prelli to his back, and I should be points there. Maybe not. There was a one count. Prelli stands up, peels the wrist, and gets away. He's gonna pull it to within one point. He's down two to one now. Okay, so Kappel still riding tough with 55 seconds left in the second period. Coburn Mann was able to get to his feet, but Kappel dropped down to an, a single leg. And now he's just kind of trying to return him to the map, but he's gonna have to be careful so he doesn't get called for a stall. Now he goes for a near side cradle off of it. He returns him to the map, but Coburn Mann was able to get his head up and straighten his body out. He didn't allow that cradle to happen. But Kappel's gonna get called for stalling because he didn't return him to the mat very fast. And then when he did return him to the mat, he stayed parallel on top of him. So the ref stopped it right there with 33 seconds left in the third period. And the score's tied 0-0. Dylan Prelly gets taken down at the end of the first period. He goes into the second period down four to one and he chooses the bottom position here. Cordova on top has a hammer lock on, the, on Prelly. Trying to roll Pirelli over, has Pirelli on his back. That's exactly what Wyatt Fowl was trying to do. And he puts him in a stretcher now, and that's it for Dylan Pirelli. He's gonna drop into the fifth, sixth place match as he gets pinned by Cordova of Rifle. Coburn Mann's trying to get away from Kappel, but they go out of bounds again. 11 seconds left in the period. I'll tell you what, Kappel's been riding Coburn Mann hard. Man hasn't been able to get away. 11 seconds left. This will go to overtime if Man can't get away. Coburn pops to his feet, goes for a switch. He tries to break the hold, but guess what? Locking hands right there called on Kappel. So there's a point, and that's going to bring the, the coaches over to visit with the referee. That's not going to do them any good because they weren't in position to argue that call. Right now, Coburn Mann's going to go ahead by a point due to a technical violation with eight seconds left. But that's a credit to Coburn Mann because he kept moving. He, he'd get back to his feet and kept going and going and going. Made everybody in the bleachers, including the referee out on the mat, think that he was pushing him out of bounds and stalling. And so it worked against him. And are they in the same region? I'm not sure if they're in the same region or not. I'm not positive about that. I know Braden Kappel's a number one seed and Cobra Mann's a number two. Yeah, they're not out of the same region. Okay. And that's the match. Kappel had to cut him, had to tell the referee to let him go and go for a takedown with no time left. And 
He's got to be disappointed after all that hard riding he did. And he couldn't get away. Couldn't hold him down. He ends up giving that locking hands. Excuse me.